up, Camp Master Whippy? This week, week four of surviving in the nature with Jacob, we're going to be building an outdoor shelter. So, what you're going to need a saw or a pocket saw. You're going to need a hatchet. So, three rules to remember when trying to build a shelter, okay? There's a million different ways to do this. Maybe not a million, but there's quite a few. And honestly, you can make it a triangle, you can make it a dome, you could dig it in the earth, you could do it in a like igloo, you could do it any way you want. The three things you need to remember are you need to isoler le plancher. So you need to make sure that the ground that you're sleeping on isn't cold. So you want warm, dry, like a bed, you know? You want to go sleep on a nice, comfy matelot? Yes, you do. So, you want a comfortable, warm bed to lay on. And the two other ones are, first one, you want to have protection from like uh, wind. So you want to make sure that your ground is warm and you want to make sure that there's no wind keeping you cold at night either. So having like walls or whatever. And last but not least, a roof over your head. And the reason is because you want to be protected from the rain and the snow. So if it rains on you, that's a sure way to get hypothermia. So this is why we got to do it right the first time, you know? So I'm going to go in the woods. We're going to find some sticks and we're going to build ourselves a shelter. All right, so the one super important material I forgot to mention is rope. So rope is always useful to have and you can do shelters without rope, but it's always better to have rope because you can tie things together and it just stabilizes it and for multi-purpose reasons. So what I did here is I strung a piece of rope between these two trees. I got my wood piles right here, ready to lean them up against the rope. And, but first, I'm gonna make myself a nice cozy, you can see it, a nice cozy leaf pile in between these two trees for my sleep times. It is 7.30, the sun's just a setting, and it's gonna get dark in no time, which means I gotta get this puppy finished ASAP. So, we just laid down my little bed, and about now we're gonna put up the walls. So we got the sticks, we're gonna lean them up against this, and then after that, we'll do the insulation. So now you guys can see the little house, the little teepee house I just made. But now we got a problem. We got the walls, but it's barely gonna break any of the wind and it's definitely not gonna keep out the rain. What do we do in that case? Well, let's take a look up. Branches with leaves. Now that's always winter. You get yourself a bunch of branches with leaves, pines. Pines are the best, pines work great. And you stack that up on the side, some bark, bark works too. And uh, so we're just gonna pad up the sides with leaves and branches and bark, and then we'll be set. Now I know you guys only saw me briefly pick up branches, but, and you're maybe wondering why do we need these tools and I haven't seen you use them yet. Well, the hatchet I had to use for a couple of these branches because some of them were like dead trees and sometimes you need to get the ends a bit sharper to stick them in the ground. So that's what the hatchet is used for. And now that we're going to get some branches, this is gonna come in handy, this saw right here. All right, so it's getting a bit darker as you can see. I got my branches and we're gonna stick them on the side of the walls and get our insulation going. All right guys, so here's our shelter. 
We got our branches all along as insulation with the pines covering the wind up the top. We put some bark, some birch bark all the top and put some more leaves to absorb all the moisture. So now if we go in it, you can see I got plenty of room to move around. And ideally you'd even cover up those bits right there. So this is where you'd stay. This is our shelter. Thanks for tuning in again this week, and I'll see you next week for Nature Tips with Jacob. <laughs>